All right, we're back with some more Banjo Kazooie. In between the break, we got some more coffee. We're ready for Mr. Vile. We're going to finish this last part of this mini game. Let's go for it, gophers. We got to not mash here. We got to eat the reds right now. We got to not, uh, what do you call Worry too much about it changing. Just zen it out. You know what I'm saying? Just zen it out. All right. Let's go. There's some reds over here. Reds right here. Oh, accidentally ate the wrong thing, but that's okay. Sometimes you can afford to eat one wrong thing, I feel. Okay, that's his. Okay, okay. We won! Let's go! Give me that gold! Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that! Three games to win three extra lives? How about you go stick your thumb up your boo-boo? <laughs> yeah, just so he can say uh, you're the baddest croc. Um, no, and I still get to chomp. Go fuck yourself, dude. Like, seriously. Oh, wait, let me get this mumbo. All right. Well, woo! That felt good. All right, now let's, uh, well, is there anything? Well, I think there's like deep swamp here. So let's see if we can get anything in the deep swamp as the croc, because you don't get hurt by the stupid piranhas or whatever they are. Like notes or whatever, or notes or stuff like that. Okay, yeah, let's get these notes. Other than that, though, because I believe I know where the last three jigsaw pieces are. One of them's in the croc, like those shooting eggs in the croc. One of them's that little choir, the choir boy. Um, um, and the Jinjos. And we are golden on Bubble Gloop. It's just, yeah. Mr. Vile. Mr. Vile. But we're done with him, right? Yeah, we won't have to deal with him again. All right, so... Let's go back to Mumbo here. And an interesting fact that I learned about Mumbo recently, I think I actually knew this, but I saw it on Reddit recently, was uh, Mumbo was cursed by the witch to have, like, uh, the skull over his face. And you can kind of see it when he waves his wand and when he moves around that the skull is over his actual face, and when you win the game and beat the sk beat Gruntilda, that uh, the skull is supposed to go away, but um, it doesn't. And I don't think there's any actual answers why it doesn't. Um, okay, so yeah, I think if we go up here, I think there might be a honey... Yes, there's a honeycomb piece. Yeah, so... I Always, uh, that's a little trick, always look around in Mumbo's hut, because there's usually stuff. Never, I don't think there's ever a jigsaw piece, but there's always stuff of interest. And I like the little uh, tune, the little remix, as it were, on the tune, on the main theme, when you get the boots. Boots. 
I wonder if there's any possible way you could survive this swamp water right here without these boots. Maybe if you had like 10, oh wow, that ran out fast. Maybe if you had 10 gold feathers, we're gonna figure out, nah. I mean, yeah, maybe. I mean, I just took two hits there and I had no, uh, like that was barely any distance. Finally got myself a new game for the first time in a while. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I got a new game. Um, I bought myself Sonic Frontiers because, I mean, I don't know. Like, I meant to buy myself that when at the time it came out, but I always like saving. <laughs> that sounds like a dumb thing to save, say. Uh, I like saving money, but... I need to save money, and, um, you know, Sonic Frontiers looked really interesting to me, and, um, I don't know, it's, uh, it kinda is weird so far, it's just, it's obviously open world, which is, uh, I'm trying to go for the Crocs right now, which is very different from all these Sonics, except for it says the first open world Sonic, but wasn't Sonic 06 technically open world? As I cannot get these Crocs hitbox. As garbage as Sonic 06 was, I'd consider that open world. But, um, so, I mean, and it's pretty much Breath of the Wild as Sonic. Um, okay, here we go. But, um, the controls are very fluid. But I don't think the game's fast enough. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me being me and having played too many shit Sonic games. Like, I don't know. I'd only play the garbage Sonic games. Um, mainly because those are the ones that are like $20. Although I have played, um, what do you call it? Generations, if you'd consider that a good one. Um... Like, I, you always want to see him go, like, faster than the screen. Like, faster than the cameraman, where the cameraman's just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, come back here. And, like, you're just bumping into stuff. And, like, then you, like, if you are so inclined, want to go back and try and get a perfect score. Well, not a perfect score, but a better score and try and get all the rings and stuff. But, um, I don't know. That's just my perspective on Sonic Frontiers so far. I mean, it's a fun game, um, but I just don't think the speed is faster. And the atmosphere is, like I said, like Breath of the Wild with Sonic. So it's a little weird because when you're playing Sonic, you're always like upbeat. And like, it's always just like, not Beatles music, but just like crazy um, rock music. And this one's a little different from that but granted I've only played like an hour so things are bound to change all right um let's get this oh yeah this I remember la from last time this is not the final croc because there was a fourth one which was a bunch of croc um excuse my bad joke can I shoot the egg from over here I wonder Let's get a solid aim here. Oh, that was perfect. That was fucking perfect. As far as levels go that we've played so far, uh, I'd put Bubble Gloop as the third, third best. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like in retrospect, Bubble Gloop is better because after playing Clanker's Cavern, you're just like, oh my God. Oh, I'm so glad to be done with that level. Holy shit. But, um, I don't know. I do like it a lot, again, because it, there's no level in Mario 64 that's like it. So it has that going for it in that perspective as well. Whereas all the other levels, save for one, which I don't want to spoil, have a, oh my god, another one, have a, um, level in Mario 64 that you can compare it to. 
And I mean, it's got the giant croc. How can you hate on a level with the giant croc? It's like the, um, oh my God, what's that? It's like the, um, dragon from Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong? <laughs> it's like the dragon from Shrek. If it meant from the dragon from Shrek, that's like the perfect couple. All right. Whoa, hey! You passed your best note score. All right. Um, let's see if we can shoot it from over here. Long distance egg shooting. Oh, perfecto. All right, let's get this. <laughs> We're just going to get destroyed. Oh, what an idiot. You should have just stayed there. All right, well, next time on Bread of Man Gaming, we'll finish up Bubble Gloop Swamp. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.